what's up and welcome to my channel and if you are new hi welcome and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet kindly hit the subscribe button and join the family so as you read by the title today i'm going to be doing the i followed scott barnes makeup tutorial so when i saw him do it on tati i thought it was very interesting because of how he applied the makeup like the techniques of how he applied the makeup was interesting yeah so i saw a couple of youtubers do it i saw kelechi do it i saw other youtubers do it so yeah so i'm going to try it and i hope it works for me because if it does maybe i'll start doing my makeup that way so yeah without wasting much time let's jump right into them so obviously i'm not going to like i don't have even a single one of the products he used but i'm going to work with mine but at the same time follow his procedure okay so yeah so he just went in with the concealer and he didn't prime the skin he said he didn't see the need to prime so we are not going to prime yeah so i'm going to be using these two concealers this is the nars concealer and it's very very light i don't know if you can see and then this is the maybelline instant age rewind concealer i'm going to be mixing this two you know so i'm going to go in with the concealer guys i'm so scared i don't know why i'm so scared <laughs> so this is how he applied the concealer and i think he stopped right here and then flipped yeah he flipped it yeah like so so with the type of skin i have as you can see i have a lot of acne scars on my face so let's see if this technique is going to cover it and then the bridge of the nose whoa why am i shaking i'm shaking he went like this on the brows we are going to do same I just hope this technique like covers my acne scars so actually he went very close like nose contour like he went very very close so actually for the chain he went in like this i didn't see that he went in like this he went in with a brush like this but his is very like a bit bigger than mine and very pointy but this is what i have so I'm gonna use that. This is the real techniques sponge, and then he was kind of blending it like this and then flicking it at the same time. <laughs> so we are going to be doing the same. I feel like my concealer is too light, but anyways. So <laughs> he was doing this. And then for the nose, he was flicking it in words like so. And then the forehead. <laughs> I feel like my concealer is too light. But anyways, we will make it work. <laughs> I'm not very funny guys but anyway let's move on the next thing he did was he went in with a contour so I'm gonna be using the LA Girl Pro Contour I mean <laughs> LA Girl Pro Concealer to contour and this is in the shade Dark Cocoa so I'm gonna be mixing this and this contour because this one is not as dark as i would want it to be so i'm gonna be mixing this to we are mixing things here guys <laughs> so he went in with a brush like this for the contour he went in with a brush 
similar to this one but mine definitely mine is smaller than his his was like a bit wide and bigger so yeah but it was something like this so i'm going to be using that he first went in with the he first went ahead to you know snatch the jawline <laughs> can you see <laughs> i feel like it's not appearing on my skin because it's not dark enough guys this is the only dark concealer i mean contour shade i have i'm going to go ahead and do the other side like can you see how dark it is so um for the cheeks this is what he did So for the nose contour, I'm gonna go in with this brush. Actually, he's lining the overlining the lips because her lips he wants her lips to become bigger, and my lips are already bigger. But you know we are going to do it anyways. And he's applying the, you know, some makeup, I mean, some foundation on her chest and I'm not going to do that. So, so he's going in with a brush like this to blend out the contour, but unfortunately I don't have the kind of brush he's using, but I think it's similar to something like this. I don't know. So I am going to use that and then, you know, whilst he blends, he kind of flick. <laughs> I don't even know how to do that. I feel like I'm looking a bit grey. So I think I suck at you know following a tutorial because I can see he, he has blended the chin the concealer on the chin and I don't know when did he do this so I'm just going to do that right now like I don't know when he did that but I'm going to do that like this is so hard guys it's so hard following a tutorial like somebody do a makeup and then you follow exactly what the person is doing like it's so hard so he's going in with a foundation so so for the foundation i'm going to be applying with this one and he was basically just applying it like, this is so hard guys it's so hard. <laughs> what did I get myself into? <laughs> oh my God. What the hell am I doing? What the hell? He was basically applying it like all over. Like he was applying it right here you know so I'm going to do the same so I'm basically lightly applying it like you know on top of I don't know where the foundations are supposed to go so so he went back in with the concealer brush to kind of bring back the brightness He went in with a dry brush, you know, to kind of marry everything together because obviously we are not looking uniform like, right now. And I'll show you, like I love, and the reason why I waited for this is because this is a dry brush. Mm -hmm. and what I'm doing. So next step is powder. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Polish. This price powder right here. So I'm going to be using this brush. He went in with a 
a cream blush and I don't have a cream blush so I'm going to use my lipstick an orange lipstick to apply that okay so the this is what I'm going to use to apply on my cheese Ooh, it kind of works guys this looks beautiful maybe i'll be using this often i don't know does it look too pigmented i'm going to go over with the brush i used to apply my foundation to kind of tone it down a little bit because this is too much guys this is looking too much so now he went in with a highlighter and the one he used had a little bit of color in it and then the brush he used was something like this so i'm going to be using it and then go in with this go in with this and then mix it with this yeah. and the way he applied it he was kind of swollen it like this so I'm doing C. I don't know if it's. I don't know what I'm doing. So what I'm doing? I'm gonna go in with my Kat Von D palette and then dig into this shade right here. And then you know. So I don't have the brush he used for that. So I'm using this one. This is the. What's it called? Row Techniques brush. Now we are going to go ahead and then line the lips. We used a brown lip liner, so I'm also going to go in with a brown lip liner. And then he went in with a gloss, so I'm just going to do that. So with a gloss, he was kind of flicking it like this. And then went straight ahead to do the brows, so I'm going to brush them up with a spoolie. Like I have, I don't like doing my brows after I've, uh, you know, applied my foundation and all of that. So this is kind of new to me. For the eyebrows, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills the brow pomade. And then I'm kind of filling out the outer. So basically, he didn't, um, you know, clean out the, I mean, the brows. But I am going to do that because I feel like I need to, like I have to clean, you know, the brows up like guys i'm not going to lie this is kind of stressing me out a little bit <laughs> like i'm kind of confused but hopefully we are almost done so he went in with a brown eyeshadow so i'm going to go in with the brown eyeshadow and it was kind of like focusing mainly in the crease so i'm going to do that so what i do with this just so for the center part of the lid i'm going to be using this eyeshadow right here i don't know if you guys can see but this is how it looks like so for my skin tone this is what i'm going to be using I went in with mascara okay guys so um what i did was i applied some lashes yeah that's basically it and unfortunately i wasn't recording so he didn't do much actually so i'm going to go ahead and then apply some mascara on my bottom lashes
so that is the finished look guys i'm really loving the way my skin is looking and i'm loving my eyebrows they look very natural you can definitely see the hair strokes and i didn't really do much with the eyebrows it didn't take me like forever to do it i really love the way this look turned out but am i going to you know inculcate these techniques into my makeup routine no i'm not this is for scott because this thing it took like it was it got to a point i was like no but i had to you know go through and yeah like i can't stop looking at my face because my skin is growing i don't know how it's going to look later on but anyways yeah i really love the way this look turned out guys so yeah i'm really feeling this makeup look so i hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed kindly subscribe to my channel and yeah leave a comment in the comment section down below and don't forget to turn on your post notification bell that way you get notified whenever i upload new videos and hopefully i'll see you in my next video bye